just a setback. He's done rehabbing. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the Talking Yanks pregame show. We will be talking about the Yankees versus the Orioles. Game three of the four-game set. Yankees have taken the first two. And uh, they'll probably take today, I think. So, Jake, how are you doing today? Doing well, man. A uh, long one. I, you're, you're traveling down to Austin, Texas later this week. I got down to Dallas today with... Uh, some of the old roomies down here. Um, and yeah, man, uh, Texas forever, my friend. Texas forever. Just you, me, street, playing football. Love the emotions that go through your face just from hearing that sentence. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm having a good day because we didn't do the radio show this morning, so I got like extra time to hang out. Um, I'm having a good day. This stand news is throwing me for a loop. It makes sense. They're saying you only get so many rehab days. So right. they have to officially send him out of rehab. The word return still doesn't make any sense for me. But for anyone that doesn't know, Giancarlo Stanton had another setback and is going back to the IL. Um, what a doozy. Who cares? We'll move on. We'll do that on a main episode of Talk yeah. Yanks. Return, returned to the IL from the IL. Yeah, I saw there's some questions in the chat already. We will do questions at the end. I'll scroll back through the chat and we'll answer the questions. Right now we got to talk about this game, game three in Baltimore. Lineups are out, Jake, and we see another different kind of lineup. I'll go through it. We got DJ LeMahieu playing third base and leading off. Luke Voigt, DH, and hitting second. Gary Sanchez catching, hitting third. Mr. Kendris Morales batting fourth and playing first base for the first time. Glaber Torres at short. Brett Gardner in center field. Clint in right. Tyro Estrada is at second. And Cameron Ravens in left field with the big man on the bump. Um, am I wrong to say that they're looking at this Orioles team as – uh, like rehab games and let's just rest people. Like we've seen some moves where I think the only the only reason is, hey, we're playing the Orioles. Let's just rest. We can beat the Orioles with out our top top guys. Let's just get guys some rest. Yeah, there there's some there's some half truths in there. I I think it's more so a they've won the first two games. Um, one even though it was in the last inning, <laughs> they won that like convincingly. Um, it almost. For, for being down, it felt like they were never out of control. And for – it's also, Jim, I mean, the overlying thing is this Yankees team loves rest when they can do it. Um, <laughs> we we have loved to rest the guys, but with all the injuries, we haven't been able to. So um, if they can get a chance to DH Foy and sit Hicksy after he's, you know, still a couple games into this. They gave Brett the day off yesterday so he can play center. So, yeah, it all, it all kind of adds up. Yeah, I mean, Voight has appeared in every single game besides one this season, and he's been playing a lot of first base. So I understand giving him a half day off. Like, I'm I'm totally fine yeah. with that. I'm fine with Urshela getting a day off. I was worried it was going to be LeMahieu with a day off because he came out of the game and got banged up yesterday, and that would have sent questions. But it's, it's just to get Tyro in. I, I don't think it's to – like, I think that is more to get Tyra in to get, than to get Urshela rest, but you do both. Um, Hicks is out. Hicks just came off injury, so they're going to find time to give him rest. Like, yeah, I don't have a problem with all this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing that maybe I'd say, because I, I think uh, Morales set yesterday, right? Yep. Um, I, I mean, I would have – uh, defensively, again, I'm, I'm worried about him in the field. I haven't seen him in the field in a while, but I'm expecting pretty low things. So, you, you know, you'd like a world where maybe they played him yesterday and then sat him today, and then you have LeMahieu at first, uh, Urshela at third. But, I mean, that's that's getting a little too picky. Yeah, it is a ground ball pitcher. I mean, it is a contact pitcher with CeCe up, so there are a right. lot of ground balls. 
So we Morales will be tested on catching balls thrown from his. Well, many what to watch for there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you want to? Do we have? The, is this the Orioles lineup? No, that's what I was asking you before, and I think it was misinterpreted. I so I don't know. I, that's yeah, how much we Orioles, don't care about the Orioles. I don't think the Orioles lineup is out yet. Um, but I also, yeah, I don't really, I don't care too much. Let's see if I can find it. By the time I finish speaking this sentence, it looks like Alberto is leading off playing third. Villar is playing second. Mancini in the three hole. I actually like that. Right. Uh, Nunez right DH. Yeah, Severino is catching. Ricard in left. Chris Davis at first. Wilkerson at center field. Martin at short. So is uh, Smith Jr. not in there? Smith Jr. is on there. And Dan yes, Straley. Yes, Smith Jr. today against, against the lefty, Sabathia. Dan Straley is on the mound. He's bad, Jake. Yeah. He, I don't know if he's bad. He has been bad this season. Dan Straley for Baltimore, Jake. He has an 8.51 ERA. In his last three games, he's allowed four earned runs, six earned runs, five earned runs. And in his first two games of the season, five earned runs, five earned runs. And then he had uh, a, a good start. His best start on the season is five innings pitch, one earned run. Yeah, I mean, he's – 30.2 innings so far this year, Jimmy. His whip is at 1-9, so basically that means he's letting two runners on an inning, <laughs> um, which is not a good strategy, um, hot take um, as a pitcher. Well, so. if you're a big fan of getting triple inning-ending triple plays, it's, that's the only strategy you can go with, really. It's one of the best strategies for that. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah it's um, the Yankees with the first two wins in this series, they clearly feel like – yeah, throw Tyro in there. Sid Hicksy today. Like, yeah, let's 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 do whatever. Cause we literally our triple A team should be able to beat the Orioles. Yeah. And that's kind of what's happening. I think the Orioles are gonna set the record for most amount of balls that hit them in the glove and drop in one. Okay. Series. Interesting. It's it's crazy. Yeah. They've had a lot. I mean, and the Yankees have added two some themselves, so it's it's been pretty. If you like home runs and errors, tune into this Yankees Baltimore series. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Do you have a what to watch for? Let's talk about Cece. Let's talk, Let's talk about, about Cece. Cece. Jim Cece is on baseball. a hell, he's on a hell of a run right now. He is doing. Uh, tell what's his ERA? Do you know it? It's good for June everyone that's 97. listening. Everyone that's listening, the public perception of Cece is probably he's an old man and not good anymore, right? So I think anyone that's not a Yankees fan that's tuning in because they came on YouTube would be shocked to hear that CC has a two what? Two nine seven ERA. If you're a war person, he's got a one flat war on the year. He's basically our fifth starter is on pace for a four war season. Has an ERA under three right now. Um, people get mad that his length hasn't been there. The dude also missed spring training and he hasn't had a bad like a bad start yet, which is actually kind of nutty. Yeah, the, his worst start is five innings pitch, four and runs, which that's not – you can still it's not win good. that game. Yeah, it's, it, but it's – I mean, it shouldn't hold you back from winning. Um, yeah, I mean, no one runs, no one runs four, two, three, two, one. Um, those are his earned runs given up in every game this year. He's been great. Yeah, and he's coming off his best outing of the season, six innings pitch, one earned run versus the Tampa Bay Rays. So hopefully he can get get this Orioles team down. He has a decent history versus them. I mean, Chris Davis has a uh, 220 batting average versus him. He does have two home runs, but kind of lines up with Chris Davis. Uh, no one else in this lineup has a home run versus CC. I mean, he induces such soft contact. Mancini, what's he at? Mancini has a 263 on base percentage. So if CC can limit him today, that'd be fantastic. Who's got who's got a good Joey Ricard has good numbers, Jake. He's six for 15. He's got a 471 on base center. So this will be the first time this series versus the Orioles will say, hey, watch when Ricard comes up. Might be dangerous. Yeah, VR's four for nine, too. So that uh, there, there's a, a, a couple of guys. I know four for nine is not the biggest sample, but it's something. Um, something. Yeah. On the other side, Dan Straley 
Morales crushes him, Jake. So maybe that's why he's in today and didn't yeah. play yesterday and in today. He's – well, crushes is not the right word. He has four hits off him. Two of them are home runs. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty good. And one of them's a double. So when he connects, he's getting extra base hits. He's got two walks, 375 on base centers. And he's in the four hole. So look for Kendrys to, to like, be part of a rally or end the rally with the home run, big double. Uh, I'm, I think he might be in line to do some big things today, have some big plate appearances. Unless Gary Sanchez clears all the bases ahead of him in the three hole every single at bat. Which he might. Fair. Gary Sanchez, might. one for one, one home run off Dan Straley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not so. bad. Uh, DJ LeMayu is uh, two for four with two doubles, which is nothing. Whatever, BVP. I said it at the very beginning of the season. We give BVP numbers because I find them interesting, but I I know you can't put a, a ton of stock into them at all. So, yeah, yeah. All right, Jake. What is your what to watch for for this game? James, my what to watch for. I I went with a one word or I went competition. Um, Yes, I think this is a rest day. Um, you know, Aaron Hicks coming off the DL, that's obvious. Urshela took one to the Biscuits the other day. Sure, give him a day off. Um, well, Giancarlo Stanton, turns out, isn't coming back <laughs> as soon as we thought. Who knows when he's coming back at this point. Um, but, uh, again, uh, competition is now picked up with Clint Frazier getting his bat right supposedly last game. Uh, Guardy five for ten in his last three. Cameron Maben holding down to a spot. Tyro Estrada getting the start today. So I I want to start seeing. Um, Tyro is the only one out of that those names that is regularly going to see the bench. Like right now, he just doesn't have dibs over Lemayhu or what our shell has done or Glaber. Um, those other guys are now officially fighting for playing time, and. Um, I, we've seen the Yankees believe in hot this year, so I think if Clint keeps it going, if Gardy keeps it going, um, Maven has been nothing but good for us. So I, I think it's time that, like, these guys <laughs> – Jimmy, we were just looking for healthy bodies for a little bit. Now, like, what these guys do actually matters for their playing time. Yeah. Tyro – I want Tyro to last the entire year. Oh, I mean, I, I hope he goes full piss missile today and goes like three for four and is just giving double birds around the clubhouse. <laughs> like, let me play. Let me play. Yeah. Uh, my what to watch for, Jake, is, man, I don't even know. Because I want to say, like, Clint, I'm getting to the point where the home runs are are just extra. Can I say I want to score with a rally that doesn't have home runs? Oh, I don't, well, I don't sure. Care. I don't care. You anyway. don't. Care. But at once, okay, here's what I'm saying. Once Gary hit that three-run home run yesterday, everyone wanted their home run first. The right. It turned into mm -hmm. like when you go extra innings and people are just swinging for the home run. It's kind of what that game turned into. And Clint got two and Urshela put two to the warning track that got caught. Or one almost got caught, one got caught. Let's make sure we get runs before we go into home run derby. Because their eyes are lighting up against Straley. Like, oh, we're going to get more home runs today. Let's pad the stats, boys. Let's, like, lock up the win before. Yeah, I'm against it. Let's pad them. Just but swing I, but, for it. Because I think today's the day you get it. <laughs> do you think if they go out swinging for home runs, they'll get their home runs no matter what? I mean, how many did they end up putting up yesterday? I mean, it, it seemed there was a weird couple innings there because the Yankees scored their first three batters. Gary hit the three-run three run homer, and it felt like they scored 10 runs that inning. They only scored three. And then there was two innings after that where it was like, okay, we need to play baseball again. And then they went on and raked, and they ended up hitting more bombs. So, um I, I don't know. I, I mean, you're right. Like, that's the better way to play baseball. But at the same time, I think uh... – Well, once they have a three-run lead, I don't care. Do whatever you want. Okay. Or suck. But just make sure you get that lead first. Yeah, do it with the homers still. <laughs> Pitching path to victory is pretty simple. Hale was the only guys used out of the pen yesterday. He actually yeah. gave him the wrestling belt, Jake. Yeah, champion's belt. Which I think was a shot at Clint. Wow. Guardy even said in his post game, "Yeah, usually you probably think Clint would deserve it, but no, Hale gets it." And I was like, "Whoa, Clint's nice. probably upset." If anyone wants that belt, it's Clint. Yeah, he's like, "How come I didn't get the the belt today?" 
Innings, uh, bro. Innings. So uh, David Hale can't pitch. Other than that, if it's a close game, you you will actually like need to see if it's. You might see even if it's not a close game because they haven't pitched in a couple days now. Ottavino, Canely, Britton, uh, Chapman. Chapman pitched game one. Yeah, I'd, I'd expect one of the good guys. No, almost no matter the situation. I think Ottavino and Canely both haven't pitched in the last two games. Yeah. Tommy Canely hasn't pitched in the last three games. So I think we're going to see Canely today to keep him regular. And I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Ottavino. If we're a blowout, I think you see Chad Green. Like it. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to Homer draft. It's the Homer draft. Jake is going absolutely nut job right now in the Homer draft. Jake has two, four, seven home runs predicted in the last five games. It's impressive. It's in, it's ridiculous. And yeah, you get to go uh, first today. I mean, it's the opposite of what's been going on with bet of the day for JJR. So it's kind of the world, world leveling itself out. So if anyone um, doesn't know, we can't choose the same player twice in the same series, and we can't have the same player on the same day. So Jake's got his first pick. He cannot choose Clint, Voigt, Glaber, or Morales. Yeah, Jim, I mean, I, I, I hate to be rude about it, but I think I'm going Gary, man. <laughs> I can't take him. I got one from him, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. So you're, you're taking Gary? Yeah. So I can't take Gary, Voigt, Hicks, or Glaber. Wow, okay, so I'll take I'll take my dude, Mr. Ken. I'll take Morales. And my second pick, do I have any help from the chat? Someone said take Gardner. I do think Clint's going to get another. Glaber I can't take, correct? I can't take Glaber. Fuck. Do I take Glaber, Clint, or Gardner, Jake? My can't problem take Glaber. My problem with Gardner is he's probably not going to get two, you know? You're just talking yourself out of Clint right now. I got to take Clint. You already took Clint, so it seems like a dumb pick, but I'll take Clint. 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 So, all right, Morales and Clint, and you have Gary and DJ? Um, Man, I think I'm going to take the young prince. I'm going to take Tyro. Uh, give me one of those violent swings today, today against one of those bad Orioles pitchers. All right. Someone said Morales ain't hitting no homers. Hit a homer like two games ago. Jake got the point for it. So Bing. I'll just do that. Um, we forgot the over-under yesterday, which I'm yes. really upset about. So let's not forget the over-under today. What are they going to set it at where I take the under? Like 10 and a half, I think, would scare you a little bit. Yeah. So, I'm going to guess it's nine and a half. I'm going to guess it's nine and a half as well. Let's see. Loading. 10 and a half. It is 10 and a half? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to take the under. Feels like such a trap. I'm going over still. I'm going to go like a nice eight to one win. I mean, it would make sense. Like, CC can have a great day, and then it's all in the Yankees. But even the Yankees could do it. So, yeah, ten and a half is a hot. That's the highest line we've had this season. It's a big number. That is, yeah, we haven't had. We haven't even had ten yet this year. So, Baltimore sucks. Orioles. Right, let's go to the chat. See what people are saying. Uh, Matthew Rongo says, "Is it just me, or does Jake look like a turtle?" You ever gotten that before? Oh, yeah. I think I've been open with that. I got uh, – I keep getting Jake Johnson, Nick from New Girl. A little bit. You not, have a beer. Not, no, no, not looks. Voice. Yeah, I think the look plays. I think that's a factor. No, it's just people on YouTube where they can't see me. They say and, – and on Reddit, they say, why does that guy sound like Nick, Nick or Nick from New Girl? But I never got that before. But I got it like – Probably like 10 plus times now on between Reddit and YouTube. Um, someone so, for, so for current information there, Turtle, the animal, Nick uh -huh. from New Girl. Three. I can't control what people say. I'm not. I was just confirming. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to get defensive. Ja Rule. Okay. That was years ago. 
Why did CC's fastball get slower when he lost weight? Couldn't get as much weight behind the pitch. You're lush and I hate you next. <laughs> well, when is Gio going to come back to earth? Hopefully, hopefully never. never. Um, do you know the starting lineup? Yeah, that's the top of the show. I'm going to keep show. going with that one. The second time someone's asked us that, we open the show with that. Uh, instead of making two-minute video of a single play, make a weekly compilation of lots of plays. Uh, compilation videos are kind of for the voiceless and suck, um, so I don't want to do that. Also, I mean, that's basically saying, instead of doing uh, a lot of work, why don't you do a fuck ton of work? Right. <laughs> like, um, I wish I could. We have like 13 podcasts and... Like, I think we're at like 12 episodes a week for podcast. It'd be too much work. I appreciate that you want more content. So I really like that. But uh, yeah, that's that's tough. And uh, someone said, what's your name? Jimmy and Jake. Okay. Got anything else to add, Jake? Go Yanks. I don't think so. Go Yankees. Go Yanks. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for checking out the video. Check out everything else we do. And we will see you later.